pretty cool guys what's up guys how's it going welcome back to the channel today is going to be a pretty exciting day because in just a few hours they are launching the new convertible version of the c8 corvette huge thanks to chevrolet for having us out here today i honestly can't wait you, you might be able to hear some music from the inside of this building they've been quite opened up just yet but they should be in in just a few minutes let's go check it out So I believe Chevy is launching the new C8 Corvette convertible at two different locations simultaneously. This is the California location and then you're also launching it over there in Florida at the Kennedy Space Center. Okay guys, we made it inside and there it is. It's going to be right uh, under the covers over there. 67 minutes and 17 seconds remaining guys. I can't wait. There it is guys, a convertible C8 Corvette being loaded away in a reliable trailer. This is the same trailer that um, Ford uses to transport the Ford GTs actually. I like it. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with how it turned out. I saw the first like sneak peek photos back in like July, but, but seeing it in person though, it just comes together so good.
Okay guys, well, well there you have it. This is the new convertible 2020 Corvette. Honestly, just looking at it, I really am surprised because it really doesn't look like a Corvette to me. Yes, it kind of has a signature styling cues here and there, but it looks like a supercar. It looks like an exotic car. And arguably, I think it has all of our favorite features that are found in the exotic cars, in the cars that cost two hundred to $300,000. And it's all in a package that costs less than six figures. Yes, you can opt it out to be well past that. But for just the starting price of this car, I think this is something that is just so unusual, so new to, to the entire car scene. And for all of you who are wondering, the exact MSRP of the new 2020 convertible Corvette is going to be $67,495. And that is for the entry level 1LT trim. And then let's say you want the 2LT version of this new Corvette, which really adds a better quality interior and also a lot of new features. That's going to cost you $74,295. And then for the maxed out 3LT, which is going to be the highest level interior, it's going to cost you $78,945. And production actually starts for the convertibles in late quarter one of 2020, which is a bit later than the coupe, but I think the convertible, I think a lot of people out there are really going to like the look of it. And regardless of how long it's going to take to get built, a lot of people are probably going to go for the convertible. The convertible just works with this new Corvette. It reminds me a lot of the McLarens, that being a 570S Spider. And you may be wondering, well, what is the weight difference between the coupe and the convertible. Is there a huge performance difference between both models? Well, it seems like the convertible is going to weigh around 70 pounds more than the normal coupe. And regarding performance numbers, they should be very close. What do you guys think? Should you buy a convertible Corvette over the coupe? I think both cars really do have their own appeals to them. That being, you may want to buy the coupe because you can see the engine from the outside of the car. And then you may want to buy the convertible because well, it just looks so exotic. Both cars definitely do have their own specific audiences. What's great though is that both cars are actually much more similar than you'd expect because you can not take off the roof of the coupe version of the Corvette. The only major difference you're going to find is that it's not automatic and it does change how the car looks. So again though guys, what do you think? Which one's the better by the convertible or the coupe? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do so because we're going to have a ton more C8 Corvette videos to come. If you didn't know, I actually have one on order. It should be built very soon. We should be taking delivery of it in early 2020. It's going to be so awesome once we do because I'm going straight to the racetrack with it. We're going to make sure to compare it against all the cars on the track. So make sure you subscribe. And make sure to hit that like button, it really does help me out. And make sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new convertible C8 Corvette. Anyways, I'll see all of you in the next episode.